and appointment of Raymond Zondo to the position of Chief Justice. We're joined my, now by Nicole Fritz, and she's the director of the Helen Sussman Foundation. Nicole, thank you so much for joining us. Your take on Ramaphosa's decision, considering that Zondo was the Judicial Service Commission's fourth recommendation for the position of Chief Justice. Well, I think that the, a decision has been made and we now have a permanent Chief Justice is uh, a development that is to be welcomed. Um, I think the criticism that uh, attended on the JSC interviews of uh, the Chief Justice candidates is, is well known. Um, those were, um, certainly it's the, the view of the Helen Sussman Foundation that those were a, a disgraceful process. Um, but what was what was made clear is that the commissioners believed that all four of those candidates were suitable for appointment post the interviews. Uh, they chose to rank them. Um, that was unprecedented, and it is uh, not provided for in our law. Uh, the power to appoint the chief justice is uh, the. the the power of the president. Um, after having consulted with the with the JSC, he was not bound by that decision, and so the ranking uh, need not have played any role in his uh, decision making. Um, and that we now have certainty um, and stability and leadership uh, in our judiciary uh, with this announcement, I think is is something to be uh, welcomed. Zondo's got two years left on the bench and Justice Meyer now comes in as Deputy Chief Justice. It could be seen as a win-win uh, should perhaps in two years' time uh, the unfounded allegations against Judge Mlambo uh, settle down. He could then be appointed perhaps as Chief Justice. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we don't know what uh, will happen in two years. Um, who will, you know, be candidates then for uh, consideration as uh, Chief Justice? Um, but that's absolutely um, so. Um, that the, the ructions and reverberations that uh, have arisen as a result of uh, those degraded JSC interviews for the post of uh, Chief Justice um, are, are put to bed. Um, and that we have an opportunity... Um, you know, both for for a period of, of two year stability and a Chief Justice Zondo, but also that hopefully we have uh, performances of the Judicial Service Commission that allow for the public's confidence in uh, the administration of justice and in the JSC's processes uh, to be restored. Um, and and I think that that would be all to the good. Does Justice Zondo have the leadership and organizational capacity to get the Constitutional Court, and it's been one of the criticisms, is that there's been a dearth of leadership uh, at, that court, at that apex court because of Zondo being away uh, at the Zondo Commission. Does he have the time and skill to bring that court together and to make it a well-oiled machine that it used to be? I think that that is the case. I mean, we, we uh, as you say, um, he has had um, massive responsibilities uh, to, to shoulder. Um, he, he has been the acting um, chief justice and before that deputy uh, chief justice while being the head of the commission on, on state capture. Um, but, you know, as we saw with the, the attack on the judiciary um, and the constitution, authored by um, Minister Lindy Wessasulu earlier this year. You know, he uh, evidenced demonstrable judicial leadership in responding there too. It wasn't as if uh, that attack was not uh, given a appropriate res response because he was consumed by his other duties. I think the fact that, that he has had to shoulder them is, is a reason for us to have confidence that he will, um, the, he has the leadership, um, uh, the, the capacity, uh, the skills to, um, to provide, uh, you know, the, the example that we want from a chief justice um, at this point in time when the judiciary is um, facing the types of attacks that we have seen it, it have to uh, ward off. Nicole, in terms of gender parity, would Justice Meyer have not been politically the easier choice? Well, I think, as many commentators have said, it, it, it you know, given uh, the JSC's recommendation, um, you know, in some circles, it might have been seen as the, the easier um, political choice. I do think, I mean, the Judicial Service Commission did none of the candidates any favors, and certainly not uh, Judge Meyer by the conduct of those interviews. 
um, because they were seen as so degraded and, and tainted. Uh, unfortunately, um, that, that tainted, I think, the, the recommendations that resulted uh, from that process. Um, but ultimately, we want our president um, to make uh, a decision of, the, of the, the person to be to play the role of, of chief justice, not on the, ba on the basis of what is politically popular, but on the basis um, that that he believes that this is the individual who is going to best serve the country in that position. All right. Uh, according to Nicole Fritz of the Helen Sussman Foundation, uh, the new chief justice, uh, justice Raymond Zondo, is a good choice. Thank you so much for your time again this morning.